Hello there everyone and welcome to Valhalla. This game is basically a bartender simulator. This is something I wanted to try for a little while. So here we are. I think I have all the settings already situated. English. Come on, skip. Skip, 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 skip. I want to get back to the game. Okay, here we go. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back and relax. We hope you have a good time. I got a, a thing up pop here, and I can get some snacks if I want. So I'm good. I'm ready. Hey, over here. Boo. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game is starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis... Corgis? Over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a little overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is. Oh, I got an achievement. But you should totally... You should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. Oh. Just a dream. There's something near the door. Primera. Your membership to Shining Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 7th, 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. Life Backup? This game is interesting. You can now browse the Augmented Eye. So here's the lady we're playing as. And here's our boss, apparently. The Augmented Eye. Mass immigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Uh, with inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries, and rampant violent crime, glitch cities' citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the augmented eye. But they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. This comes after a, this comes after revealing the new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, <laughs> Quincy. Fair enough. Um, just keep the music off, please. Thank you. Or not. I think the music's off. Whatever. I wonder what Alma thinks of this whole thing. Uh, so we have zero dollars. That does not seem like an appropriate shirt to wear, but, you know, whatever. I don't care. I don't normally play games with female main characters, mostly because I'm a dude. And... Usually it's not really looked at as a good thing when a guy is playing a female character, but whatever. I don't care. I, I want to play this because it's like the only game I've found that's like this. I, except for one other one, but that one's where you're a coffee person. Ah, uh, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Jill? When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Don't know. Should have went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Ah... 
There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. I saw that. Not to mention the fact that two days ago, I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that... Excuse me, what? Neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet? And I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there are all the beer cans around my apartment and... Jill. Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the, on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Jill. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button on, or, or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be the all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Jill, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then there should be no problem. Ugh. Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button. The navigation bar. Find name. Let's do a piano man. I like that. It sounds cool. Two... Two of these. One, two, three Bronson extract. One, two, three. Five powder delta. One, two, three, four, five. Fly, five, whoops. I don't know why I said five, but five of these. One, two, three, four, five, and three of these. One, two, three, all on the rocks and mixed. No, 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 no. Yes. This drink does not represent the opinions of the bar, pianist, union, or its associates. Sour, promo, and strong. That should be everything. Done. Here, happy. Yes, very. I stand corrected. Now let's get working. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional karmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. <laughs> optional karmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Karmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys. Oh, but who who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that? That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility on us. We have work to do, damn it. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. Ugh. Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. 
Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? While you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Jill, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? <clears throat> well, so, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. How fun. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did? Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. How about no? This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. We, we don't, we don't need, okay, fine. I like that one. Okay, I'm just gonna go with random ones. I don't even care. Done. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey you, give me a beer. Oh, sure, right on. He wants a beer, he looks like quite the big guy though. So get him a bigger beer? Beer. Beer is one aldehyde, two Bronson extract. You know what, let's... Mm. Let's double it. Two Bronson, one, two, one powder Delta, so we'll do two of those. Two Flynn and whatever's. One, two, oh wait, I said I was gonna double it. Four, one, two, three. Four. And mix. Ah, oh, I messed up. Let's try that again. Let's just make it the right way. Not bother. There we go. There you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. Ah, uh, son of a... Can I have a tutorial on how to do that again? I made it right the first time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That just get it off by one is that what it was okay okay apparently I'm an idiot I mean this isn't right there's no way
I feel like I misunderstood the instructions. Let me quickly just check something. By doubling the ingredients, if the drink has 11 or more ingredients without needing to double it, the drink is considered big. You can't double the ingredients. In the case of any drinks with optional, that's not optional. If the drink has 11 or more ingredients, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It has 10. Am I just not understanding this? Huh. Beer is bubbly? Really? I don't know if that's how I would... It says to make the drink, all you have to do is multiply the amount. So in, uh, how did I mess it up? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see what it says here on the freaking page that I'm reading off of. <sighs> okay. Wait, hold a second. Two, four, two. I did it right. Two. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh my god, I messed it up. I see what I did now. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay. Jesus. How about this one? Ah, yes. Now this one fits for a man like me, right? If you're lucky I was in a meeting close by, this hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Don Don Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. <clears throat> the day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. 
Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of <laughs> corny crap that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. <laughs> well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculation or copycats. I can't read your newspaper daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help them make, the, make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scarred and bitter. Scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add glitchy cities, lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get desensitized. Desensi people get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Well, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic, too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all the they get all diva like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about? No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See, the kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, uh, shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant. I believe that's that kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to, outra to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Alright, yeah. Dirt bag. I'm gonna give you the right thing this time on the first go. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bam! Here. Ah, it's the biggest things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that too. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell, rather a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? 
Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially, especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks, those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love, fall from grace. Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want to see is their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. I don't think I agree. I'm pretty sure it is mostly people just want to see people fall. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh, please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers, this sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than a person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge yelling over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exact locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of, all that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're investigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two could play that game of... Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We can have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Uh, anyway, ev eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did, did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, God, no, but I want them to fear me, not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one? Do you... 
Ah, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Bitter? Hang on. Bitter. Let's try the gut puncher. With optional karma train. Okay. This is gonna... Okay, let's see. No. What about this one? Nope. What about this one? Okay, so no. It's... It's this one. Right here. And he wants it big, so we have to make it... Okay, so five... Yeah, this will work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. One, two. All aged and mix. Bam! Here you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue. You can actually do it. This will help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place, but aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing, and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make someone else do it and call it a day. These losers, are, losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks. I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping pro production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks. I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and, and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Spin though. We never heard from him again. Jill? Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dog, they tell you, you'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. He wants a big one, does he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... One, two, wait, he didn't say whether he wanted alcohol or not. Hmm. Well, he didn't say he wanted alcohol. Bang! Here. Hmm, you can actually do it then. 
Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable here? She has a. I mean, he has a fair point. I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Engram McDougal. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend, but it's Tuesday. Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? Uh-oh, no. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all and I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Hey Jill, where did you put the dish soap? Jill's run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. Oof. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No. Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Donna Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself knocked them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard of before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Do you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clientele personally about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Pile driver, eh? Two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Two, three, four. Here. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever fake? Uh, I'm not gonna read that. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I'm just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are... Hmm. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really... Uh... No, 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 no. Not reading that. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Sigh, of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Alrighty, don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. It's like drinking... Ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar? This doesn't seem like a... Alright, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. All aged and mixed. Bam. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, Lenny, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get over... Get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising... Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. Uh, I'm not going to read that one. Or that one. Or that one. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't, can't screw puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Uh, I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Whew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. All right, and that pretty much ends the first episode. I'm pretty sure that's the end of chapter one. Yep, right there. And that is that. I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, it has an interest for you. The game is a little bit different than what I was expecting. It has a bit of a serious side, but also a joking side to it. But it, it's pretty interesting. It, it has piqued my interest a lot more than I thought it was going to, honestly. I just like the idea of being a bartender, so I was like, sure, I'll play it. Why not? But, uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. And, uh, you know, subscribe so you can see my content. And uh, I hope you all have a lovely day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.